Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, firstly, I encourage you to watch example zero where we talk about Fermat's infinite descent method more broadly and um, so show how robust it is that like you can do a lot of cool different things with it. Um, in particular, in this example, we're going to use uh, Fermat's descent method to uh, write uh, this number uh, 1297, which is a prime, as a sum of um, two squares. And um, notice that to start, we've got a lot of help in that we're given this equation, which is of this form. And so we're gonna use descent to turn this x into a one, uh, that is turn this five into a one. And when we've succeeded in that, uh, in turning the five into a one, then we will have succeeded in writing 1297 as a sum of squares on the left-hand side, right? Okay, that is when we turn the five into a one on the left-hand side, whatever we have will be a sum of two squares and it will equal 1297. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so how do we do this? Um, first, notice that uh, our given equation here can be uh, written as um, 73 squared uh, plus um, 34 squared is equal to, the five we can write is one squared plus two squared, and then times um, 1297, right? Okay, cool. Um, Next, uh, we can multiply both sides of this equation by five. So when we do that, on the left-hand side, we'll have 73 squared um, plus uh, 34 squared. Uh, that plus sign is too close to the 34 and too far from that 73. Anyway, yeah, you get it, you get it. Okay, 34 squared times five, so times one squared um, plus two squared. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have uh, five squared. We'll have to multiply this by itself, right? So we'll have five squared times um, our prime 1297. Okay, cool, cool. Now, um, on this left-hand side, we have uh, a squared plus b squared times c squared plus d squared. That is, we have um, the product of two numbers that are each a sum of uh, two squares. And when you have this situation, their product can be written as a sum of two squares uh, using the formula here at the top. And if you wanna know where that formula comes from, uh, take a complex number, uh, z1 um, equals a plus bi, and then uh, take another complex number, z2 equals um, C plus DI. I was gonna do this in the video, but like I think you can do it on your own and it's pretty basic, but cool. Um, then if you take uh, the norm of Z1 um, squared and multiply it by the norm of Z2 squared and then set it equal to the norm of Z1 times Z2 um, squared, uh, this formula in green here will fall out of this equation. It will as soon as you've done this, you'll be able to see um, why you have the formula in green at the top, why it works. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. But for our purposes here, we just wanna compare this um, to this and then use the right-hand side to write this as just a sum of two squares, right? Okay, so it's clear that A is equal to 73, um, B is equal to 34, um, C is equal to one, and then D is equal to two. So um, since this is, again, of this form, using the right-hand side here, we can write this here as the following, which is um, AC minus BD, so that's uh, 73 times one, so 73, that's AC, minus BD is, uh, BD is uh, 34 times two, so that's uh, 68, so squared and then plus, um, and then AD plus BC squared. So AD is 73 times two, so that's uh, 146, um, and then plus, um, and then it's plus BC, so uh, that's uh, 34 times one, so that's 34, and then uh, this squared will have to equal five squared times um, 1297, right? Okay, cool. Uh, getting there guys getting there. Um, okay, so Let's make room and um, Move this guy up Okay, so clearly 73 minus 68 um, is um, 
73 minus 68 uh, is 5, so we have 5 squared plus 146 plus 34 is 180, so we have plus 180 squared equals um, 5 squared um, times uh, 1297, right? Okay, cool. And it's pretty clear what we're going to do next. We're going to divide both sides of this equation by 5 squared. And what we do, we'll have 5 squared uh, divided by 5 squared uh, plus 180 squared uh, divided by 5 squared um, equals 5 squared times uh, 1297, right? Okay, cool. And then, and then we can uh, do the following. Oh no, I forgot to do something on the right side, right? Clearly, we need to divide on the right side also by five squared. <laughs> okay, um, all right, okay, that was easy enough. Um, mistake to catch, okay? And so we're basically done, right? Um, which is uh, five squared over five squared there using exponent rules can be written as, and this is just me being silly, you should understand this without the step I'm showing you, but I'll show you the step anyway. Um, so 180 divided by 5 squared, and obviously I could go boom, boom, cancel, and all I have on the right hand side is 1297, and um, as soon as we simplify, we're done. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we've got 1 squared, and then plus uh, 180 divided by 5 is 36, so 36 squared. Uh, is equal to 1297 and there it is yeah okay cool now um, I'll make uh, videos on this but anytime you have a prime number P that is congruent to uh, that is congruent to 1 mod 4 um, you can always write P as a sum of two squares and we can even prove this why the statement is true and I'll make many videos on that but um yeah so 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 knowing that um, if you want additional example on uh, using descent to do the kind of thing we did here, then you can look at this example and try it on your own, which is try, uh, not 73, oh, we just did that. Try 37 squared um, plus seven squared is equal to uh, two times, uh, two times, and it should be 709. So 709 is a prime and use exactly the steps uh, that um, we, just showed to uh, write 709 as a sum of squares starting from this guy, yeah? Okay, cool. All right, hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.